Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Fan Showdown, this time episode 11 of season 4. And we got some good ones. I think I think you'll like it. Let's start with Bruckus, Bruck, Brooks, Bruxus, Bruxus, and his fan Biomass. Bruxus said that he created this fan without any real engineering or simulation. Instead, he he took more of a seat of the pants type approach to uh, to this design with a sprinkle of imagination. Bruxus said he wanted a fan that looked more biological than commercial, and he decided to divide up his fan disc into three different segments with varying angles of attack based on how close they were to the center hub. And I really like the biological inspiration of the fan. There's really no like hard lines. It looks more like something that kind of grew out of a petri dish. Like if you had some, some slime mold and it grew into a fan, this is kind of what it would look like. So well done. Now as for the differing blade angles, uh, that's interesting to me. I don't know if we've seen anything quite like that before. It'll be interesting to see how it does in the performance of the fan. Now next up we have a fan that I call uh, Body 12th, and it was created by somebody going by the name of Player One. Now, the creator of this fan didn't give me a name per se. Uh, he kind of said, call it what you, what you think it should be called. And then he wanted to be anonymous, so I decided Player One was what we were gonna call him, first thing that came to mind, and this is his fan. Player One didn't give much lore to the creation of this fan, saying they stumbled across the fan showdown and decided, why not download some modeling software, give it a shot. This is actually Player One's first ever fan design, and um, it looks pretty good. Solid, solid choice. A little taller than the standard A12X25 fan. Should do reasonably well. I mean, if it places towards the top, with a little more experience, player one could come up with a design that takes down the cheater. Third up today, we have Robert and his fan, FS1. Now, Robert did give more of a, a backstory to his fan and the inspiration behind it. He actually, he had more than one inspiration for this fan. He took a few different inspirations and kind of smashed them all together into one design that he's hoping will take down them all. Robert's first inspiration for his fan was, you know, jet engines and airfoils and each of the four blades has an airfoil, like you'd see on a wing, implemented into its design. The second inspiration Robert went to was the common golf ball, and you can see that kind of on the surface of all these blades. Now, the texture of a golf ball, we all know to be dimpled. Robert took that dimpled pattern and used it on the top surface of each of his fan blades here. Now lastly, rather than use, you know, rather than creating a fan that's similar to like an airplane propeller, Robert decided to kind of go the other way. He decided to use the propeller kind of like you'd see on a boat. He chose this route because he thinks that the cheater, you know that cheater, uses more of a propeller, boat propeller type design in its fan blades and we all know how well the cheater did so he thinks, you know, why not? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's what he went with. Now this last one, this last one's pretty impressive. Let me know if you think the same. You may have noticed, you may have noticed this big turbo looking thing and you know, some, some of my past videos. Uh, after creating the root style supercharger and how well it worked. I thought it was only proper that we create kind of like a, a pro charger type super car, supercharger just to see how it functioned. If it did better, worse, plus it looks like a turbo and we all know turbos make everything way cooler. So if that interests you, make sure to stick around, get subscribed so you don't miss that video when I get around to testing it, when I have some more time, but I think it'll be cool. Well, that kind of ties into this next fan, the Turbinator, and it was created by Derek, and it's what would happen if you took like an A12X25 and a turbo and you smashed them together, you would end up with a beautiful work of art. I mean, as soon as I saw this fan, I knew that I had to test it and I knew you all would feel the same. Also, I learned after looking at Derek's submission that my print quality is dog shit compared to Derek's. Because not only did he take the time out of his day to design this crazy turbo inspired fan, he also went out and bought an A12X25, he ripped it apart, and he printed out his design and tested it. I mean, look at that crispy print quality. I'm not worthy. I gotta get my printer tuned like, uh, like old Derek's there. So that being said, if you have any like tips or tricks or useful resources to, uh, to tune a printer, let me know in the comment section below. You know I could use it. But anyway, the Turbinator is a four-piece design. First, you have a dedicated base section with all these tiny little stator veins all the way around it and on top of it. And you can tell Derek really, really did his homework with this thing because this 
slips perfectly into the A12X25 frame right over all four of the motor supports and there's even extra cutout for the wiring to pass through. Top notch. On top of that base structure, you have the compressor wheel that again, slips in there perfectly, fits like a glove in between the stator vanes. Over the compressor, you have this intake structure. Now, Derek's looked way better than mine. You can see a little bit of remnants from my support. I tried to sand it to uh, be less embarrassed, but the, the inside's fine. But that goes over top of the compressor and it seats in there beautifully, just like a nice press fit. Stays in there. You just shake it. Just awesome. And then if you push it down all the way, it seats onto this uh, stator assembly or stator part and keeps it in position, which is, which is really nice. There, you did a good job. And then the last, you have the nozzle section that mounts to the back, which this actually prints out great without support material, has integrated stator veins. And this goes on the back here and it's gonna help redirect that airflow out the back of the fan. And when it's all, when it's all complete, we have a work of art. Regardless of how well this thing finishes, just in the design aspect alone, Derek's killing it. This has to be without a doubt one of the most precisely designed and well-fitting fans I've ever seen on the fan showdown. Everything went together as intended. Not a single part touches any other part. There's no rubbing, nothing. Just, just silent. Now that being said, in Derek's photos, I saw that he was using the Noctua A12X25 anti-vibration pad that's kind of also like a gasket. And I know that a lot of you have commented in the past that I should get one of those, and I wanted to. I went and looked for the ones that, I, that came with this fan. Couldn't find them, probably threw them away because I'm a genius. So I, so I had to order some more. I don't have any. I hope it doesn't hurt the design out very much, but yes, we will get some of those and install these on the fans ASAP. Let's get into the sound test though. The Turbinator came in around 54.5 dBA. The Body 12 came in around 45 dBA. The FS1 came in around 57 dBA. And the Biomass came in around 52 dBA. Now, although it's not that pronounced in the recording of the Turbinator, it did have that iconic turbo noise. It's, it's really hard to hear. It was easy for me standing here, but I hope that you noticed it because it's just off. Awesome. 10 out of 10 for design, and then 10 out of 10 for noise. So here's the hoping it moves some air. Now in the smoke test, the turbinator did, did work. And you can see that it is, yes, leaking some air off out of the back here. Now, if the fan places close to the cheater, we will retest it when I get the gasket. But just looking at how much and how fast the air is moving out the, the nozzle here, it doesn't look likely. But if it does, trust me, I'll retest it. The turbinator produced 317 feet per minute of airflow. The body 12 produced 526. 
the FS1 produced 477 and the biomass produced 541, placing the fans in 21st, 24th, 33rd and 43rd respectively. So yeah, the Turbinator, you know, it didn't, it didn't get to the top of the board, but it placed first overall in my heart with this exceptional, exceptional design. Now, I hope you enjoyed the, this episode of the Fan Showdown. If you want to get in on the action, head down to the description below. I'll put links to everything you gotta know, where to go to find models of the A12X25 frames, you know, the dimensions to hit, so make sure your fan fits on it like old Derek's here. Uh, where to send your STL files to thefanshowdown at gmail.com, and then just other useful information to help you create a fan that hopefully will take down the legendary cheater, because it's still there. It's been there for a couple seasons. Somebody's gotta do it. You can do it. Till next time.